Hello, this is Alejandro with GSC and I am an applications engineer. Today we're going to show you a quick tip on how to permanently make your Z direction the up direction. Uh, this becomes very useful uh, for downstream, downstream processes. For example, if you're exporting out a part file to a CAM software, uh, those users don't have to rotate the part to make the Z direction up. Uh, also, if you have an integrated CAM software like SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAM Works, it'll save you a, it'll save you a couple extra steps uh, due to the Z direction not being in the up direction. So once again, in most other so most CAM softwares, the Z direction is pointing up. So I'm going to show you how to make a permanent template, part template, where the Z direction is already up. When you first create a SOLIDWORKS part file, Traditionally, the Y direction is the up direction. If you're going to be exporting this file out to a CAM system, traditionally the Z direction is the up direction. So I'm going to show you how, before you actually start creating your part design, how to make the Z direction up. So I'll show you just an example. Here I've already made a template where the Z direction is permanently up. If you look on the bottom left, Z is pointing up. And so this is what we want before we start designing our parts that are eventually gonna be uh, imported into our CAM software for machining. So if I go ahead and create a new part using a basic template, you can see on the bottom left, our Y direction is pointing up. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, they introduced the ability to quickly make the Z direction the up direction. If you go in here into our view manager, there is an option here to make the Z axis the up direction. It's called apply Z up views. And if we apply that, You'll notice now that the Z direction is pointing up. Uh, the only thing that you will have to modify slightly is if, for example, if I try to create a sketch, notice that my top plane and my front plane uh, are now reoriented. Those names did not update. So this is a quick fix. Uh, my front plane now should be called my top plane and my top plane now should be called my front plane. So I'll go ahead and rename the front plane top. I'll go ahead and rename my top plane front. Now if I create a sketch really quick, you'll see now front plane, top plane, those names are more appropriate. The right plane is perfectly fine the way it is. And then I can go ahead and save this as a part template. That way I don't have to do this every time. So I'll hit file, save as. I'll go ahead and go into part templates. These are .prt dot files. Here are all my already existing part templates. So I'll go ahead and rename this one um, cam part. I'll give it a two since I already have one in there. And this is for inch units. Now, if I exit out, anytime I create a new part, I can now select that new template I created, cam part two inch. And if I hit OK, you'll see now my Z direction is up and my planes names make sense. So once again, this is very useful uh, if you make your own part designs, your own uh, SOLIDWORKS CAD models. Um, this will save some steps downstream for your CAM users. So that's how you make a part, tape, part template with the Z direction up. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.